Welcome back to DZ Vision. We are back here at the International Culture Wine and Food Festival. We missed the festival last year, we didn't attend, but we're definitely back this year. We've been looking forward to it. And this year, they have moved, well, they are having the festival here at Fort Charlotte again. They did it last year. And like I said, we wasn't here last year, so we didn't get to experience the new location. So we are here this year at Fort Charlotte for the International Culture Wine and Food Festival. We're gonna do a food tour. We're gonna to eat some good food. We're gonna have a good time, right, Mac? <laughs> so if you're ready, come on, let's go. All right, here we go making our way inside the festival grounds to start our food tour for the 2024 wine and food festival and today we're going to try and try some foods from countries that we've never visited um, in, uh, in all the times that we've come to this festival so let's get this started Mark Joe wants to try some sweets from this booth called On The Ice as you can see they have some cookies here on display and I think it's the cookies she really wants to try looks like red velvet and chocolate chip and then you have some cookies here with uh, confetti cookies with the confetti sprinkles oh that red velvet looks good so they have raised the flags of the countries that are going to be participating today they did a, a fire they fired the cannon but we missed that uh, by the time when we walked in they were doing it and I wasn't ready but here are some of the flags of the countries that will be participating in this year's Wine and Food Festival. Right now, India has a dance presentation going on. And you can see behind them, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band is set up. So, they'll be playing today too. They'll be performing here at the festival. Alright, so we are here at Peru. The Peru booth. And I'm going to make a choice from their menu as to what I want to try. Now, I personally have never tried anything from the Peru booth. Um, I don't remember trying anything from the Peru booth in all the times that we've came to the festival. And so I'm looking forward to see how the Peruvian food would taste. So I got me a fried stuffed potato. It's a fried potato, obviously, and it's stuffed with chicken. So, and they put like a, like a, like a tomato sauce thing on top of it. Now they say it isn't spicy, so that works for me. So I'm gonna try this out right now and see how it tastes. Just gotta un unwrap, unwrap my fork. Here it is. Looks like it has chicken and egg on the inside of it. Yeah, it does. That's pretty good. Never had anything like this before. Um, I like it. The, that egg and, uh, and these are onions. And it isn't like, it isn't crispy. It's nice and soft. I'm gonna hand it over to Mac Joe because I wanted to taste it. I don't want to eat the whole thing. It was good. I'm glad we stopped at the Peru boot. Yeah, I got a little bit of spice there. So, Mac Joe's trying it. You think about it. Yeah. All right, so Peru. Yeah, Peru. You got my vote. You got my vote. You got my vote. And as I looked through the menu, this is something that stood out to me. So definitely had to get this one. The onions, the onions bring it out. Yeah. It's nice. The onions put like the icing on the cake. All right, let's continue our food tour. 
All right, folks, welcome to Haiti. We're going to be trying one of the dishes from here. And if you've ever had Haitian food before, you know that it is pretty good. And they have stuff on the menu like Haitian patties with chicken, sliced Haitian macaroni, tasso, the fried goat or the fried beef. They have legume, boule, pilis, and then they have the griot, which is like one of the most uh, famous or popular uh, Haitian dishes, especially here in the Bahamas. So you will see what decision I make in just a flash. So while, while waiting on um, the food to finish, I see they have some like pepper, Haitian pepper sauce here. And as you can see, this bottle is just loaded with the peppers. Yeah, that looks spicy. And what else do they have here? Uh, they have the, okay, now this one looks like more of a blended, blended pepper sauce and it says extra spice. So if you can't take pepper, be careful. Yeah, this one looks spicy too. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And it's the, the Haitian pickles, they have it bottled. And if you don't know what, what Haitian pickles is, you're missing out. Yeah, it's like a hot slaw, cabbage, carrots with spice. That's the cremas. Ah, uh, yes, the cremas. Um, this is like a alcoholic mixture that um, the people of Haiti are known for. What's the, what's the ingredients say? Rum, cinnamon, anise coconut and condensed milk of course you know i picked the griot right so this is the griot plate you got the fried pork the pickles and then you have the plantains and one thing i like about this plate is they fixed it um a nice sample size so they didn't load the plate up with food so it gives you an opportunity to try the food and then move on to other booths and try some other foods and this plate this plate um was about ten dollars and I, I, I like what they did with it so it looks good the pork looks nice and crispy so I'm ready to just jump on in yeah the pickles looks nice and spicy um, I'm trying to stay away from too much spice but here we go all right so I'm gonna go in piece of that fried pork first Nice and crispy, not over seasoned. The, the meat is tender. I like that. Want a little pick, please? Pick, please, is nice and spicy as it should be. Piece of plantain. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This right here. This is a good plate of grill. Magdo's going in. I'm gonna sandwich it up. He's gonna sandwich it up. Wow. It's a little messy, but you sure let him see you try this good food. Right, she made a she made a grill sandwich with the black dates. How is it? Got some pickles in there, right? Eh? Oh yeah. Can't have a plate of grill without the pickles. I love spice, so this is good. It's a good yeah, blend. She she can tolerate the spice more than me. But this grill, beautiful. Hey, y'all like my shirt? Get your DZ visit merch. Now we decided to come early just so we don't have to tow long lines. And it was well worth it because the lines are super short. But as you can see, the crowd is starting to grow and get bigger. And so it's a it's a good idea to get the stuff that you want while it's early so that you don't have to tow the long lines. Because a lot of the food here, a lot of these boots are very popular. So it's good to get it in early so you don't have to tow long lines. Now listen, this right here is the Down Home West End booth. And they have something here called, you see it right here on the menu? Fish and pancake. Listen, that is a fried snapper 
with pancakes on the side. See, Mark Joe has the plate in the hand. We gonna go. We gonna find us a spot to go and eat this food and just enjoy this. Listen, y'all. Long as this snapper is fried, nice and crispy, and seasoned good with them pancakes, this is gonna be epic. Here it is, folks. The famous fish and pancakes. You got the fried snapper. You got the pancakes. This right here, delicious. If you never tried it, go ahead and try it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm I'm eat a pancake first. This is like, this is like a banana pancake. Nice crispy edges. Oh yeah. Put a piece of the snapper fish with that. Oh yeah. Fish is seasoned to perfection. Nice and crispy. Well seasoned. Squeeze a little lime on that. Oh yeah. Yeah, Mark just pointed out to me that it's a well, I'm a pancake. I think I'm so excited, I don't know what I'm tasting, but it tastes good. It's almost like you're like, on you. Oh. I'm a little busy. Analyzing the pancake. It's good, though. Oh, yeah. Thank you, SN, for coming to the festival this year. One of the best dishes I've had since coming to the festival. And I've been coming to the festival for a long time. And then we're gonna fry. Right here by the Cisco Bahamas tent, they're doing some kind of a live food presentation. So he's preparing a dish live here for the patrons of the festival. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water and touch the edges. We are now at the Italy booth, Italia. And here is their menu. They have baked lasagna, pizza margarita, pepperoni pizza, pasta with beef ragu, pasta with Alfredo sauce, pesto sauce. Then they have some desserts here. They have tiramisu. And then they have uh, some drinks here, Aperol spritz. You can get um, right rosé, red wine, all the good stuff like that here. So you can scan to make payments. And then all the food is over there. So let me go and place an order. So from the Italy booth, I got the pizza margarita. I have not remember ever trying this before, so this is gonna be my first try. So I hope that they do me some justice with this, because I thought it was gonna be a lot more decorated, with more stuff on it. But they say it's just a tomato and a cheese. And so that's what this looks like it has, so. taste it's pretty good it's, it's a good balance between the tomato and the cheese for me and um, it's pretty good I'm not blown away but it's pretty good I actually wanted to stop here at the island cane booth and as you can see they have the sugar canes here letting you know that everything that they make sorry my hand got in the way they have the <laughs> They have the real sugar canes here, so everybody can see that everything that they make here has the real organic sugar cane in it. And from what I see here, he is uh, mixing drinks with the uh, spirits in them, as you can see straight ahead. So let me walk over here to his menu to see what he's got here. You can get the sugar cane juice, sugar cane sky juice. Uh, sugar cane juice with the alcohol in it and then you can even get um bottles with the uh sugar cane juice sugar cane juice with ginger with mint passion fruit beets and carrots coconut water but yeah he's got a he's got a nice variety of stuff you can get here and um this is a look at the bottles see he has the cups there and he has a machine here 
that he's working with. Oh, let me, let me zoom in. Okay, let it rip. He's putting the sugar cane in there. And it's that, that is making the juice right there. I told you. I told you. Everything is handmade, organic. You don't have to worry about preservatives and all that other stuff. And then the sugar cane has natural sugar in it. And so anything that you mix with is going to be sweet. There you go. Sugar cane made right, sugar cane juice made right before your eyes. So we got two beverages from the sugar cane stand. One was the bottled sugar cane juice with the ginger. And then Mark Joe got the sugar cane sky juice. What now is this, sky juice? this, huh? What is sky juice? The sky juice, she's asked me what is sky juice. I, was, I, want, I, I just want them to explain to you. Sky juice is usually coconut water, gin with milk and then some people brandish it with like nutmeg and stuff like that now i don't know what he used in this because this is very the, the color is different it's very light in color um that's not like he put any nutmeg or anything in it but there's definitely sugar cane juices in that and so um tasting it will reveal way more okay so here's the uh sugar cane juice with ginger Oh yeah, that is strong. That has a gingery punch. Oh yeah, and you can taste the sugar cane juice behind it, giving it that um that sweetness, sweetening sweetening it. To me, it tastes like uh, it tastes like a ginger tea sweetened with the sugar cane. You know, I'm gonna see what this uh I'm gonna taste some of my juice. <laughs> Max sugar cane sky juice. That's different. That's different. It isn't like it isn't strong, but it's like it's, it's a good balance between the sky juice and then you can taste the sugar cane juice in the back there, like with the the the, the drink that I have, giving it sweetening it, and it's not a sweet sweet. It's not over sweetened. Sweetened just right. But it's pretty, I like it. I like it, especially that ginger, that sugar cane juice with ginger. I like that. So if you, if you like ginger, you're gonna love that. Come on, this is your, your time to dance, actually. Okay, so Mark Joe stopped at the Tipsy Scoop sta a stall that is across from where we're standing right now. And she got a dark, chocolate what whiskey ice cream and um, you see this thing here boozy ice cream so tipsy scoop they uh incorporate um a little something extra in their ice cream if you catch my drift and this is what she has here right now and of course what's a food festival in the bahamas without some comforters we stopped over at the long island booth which is in that direction that way and we got some conky conk fritters because we just wanted some kung fritters. All right, so let's see what this kung fritters is eating on. Got me a kung fritter up with some sauce on it. All right. Pretty good. Um, I didn't get as much kung in that fritter as I would have liked. Um, it's a tad bit greasy, but it was okay. It was okay. It was pretty good. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't the best. It was pretty good. But we just wanted some Kung Fu, so why not? All right, so we came up atop the bridge where you can oversee the entire festival. And we're walking here to go on the inside of the port. Um, let's see what's going on in here. All right, so the Asia booth is upstairs and so is the Caribbean booth. The Caribbean booth is going that way, Asia booth going this way. The top part of the fort, you got um, the booth from India, the Indian booths. Which is this one, 
this here going this way you got the philippines it's over there occupying those other booths and then of course you get an up top view of the festival from up here too let me walk back this way as you can see you got the cannons are up top here up top the fort and let me see how this this view from here looks all right so you you get a view from behind the stage from this section where we're standing right now then that's the bridge over there that we crossed over all right so right here we have the booth from china and then straight ahead here we have the booth from japan all right we're on the other side now where the caribbean booth is we got places like trinidad and tobago oh we got caribbean wines and spirits over here who else is up here looks like haiti's up here too that's not the haiti haitian flag no no it isn't it isn't that's the flag of another country uh let me walk down there to see exactly who it is because i know we already had the haiti booth and that was downstairs so let me see which country this is that has a flag that looks like haiti's on is it haiti dominican dominican republic yes all right okay you know the dominican republic and haiti share the same island mass so i could understand so i don't know what this is in here but this is a look at some of the food that they have got bohemian all the staff and legend out here doing a live painting looks like it's coming together quite nicely i don't know if we'll be here when he's done but I'm sure this is gonna look amazing when it's when it's complete like, when it's completed. Yo, the crowd has gotten thick around here. If you can if you compare the crowd now to what I'm showing to how it was earlier when I just started the, when I first started the video, you will see that the crowd has definitely increased. All right, so we winding down our visit here to the festival. We went back to the Haiti booth, and Mark Joe got the. Haitian pate with chicken. Um, I've never heard of this. I've never had it. So she's going to be trying it for the first time for both of us. And then um, spicy. She likes it. What's the flavor of the chicken? having a hard time describing it I'm kind of narrating for her so she's taking another bite to make sure and she's gonna let me know she can't describe it but it's good it's delicious it's delicious and it's spicy vegetables blending together with fresh flavors okay that sounds good all right, so we're all done at the festival, we're back in the car, about to head home. It was good. I enjoyed the experience this year. You know, we went in with a plan. We got our plan executed. We were able to do a little extra stuff. You know, we didn't put everything on camera, but most of it we did. Um, the food that we tried today was was awesome. You know, we stopped to some booths that we never stopped to at the at the festival before. We stopped at the Haiti booth. We stopped at Peru, we stopped at Italy, and then we stopped at the Bahamian booth from Grand Bahama. And I must say that the food was excellent. We also stopped at some other booths uh, that you guys saw. Uh, Mark Joe got the cookies, and then we got the drinks and stuff like that. We even ended up stopping back at the Haiti booth and at the Sugarcane booth because the stuff we had there was just that good. So what, what you thought, Mark Joe? Uh, don't tell us happy must be Haitian tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we we ate a lot we ate more of the Haitian food than anything, so we honorary Haitians now. <laughs> yeah, the the the, the Haitian cuisine we really enjoyed. Um uh, kinda of surprised. Uh, because you know we always go for the Seymour, Seymour. So I'm kinda of glad we did um something different. Um my only thing was I was a little sad that we um didn't know where the Caribbean and Asian booths were, so we kind of missed out on those. We found that closer to when we were kind of winding down, so we already had a mindset 
on dinner so you know i guess next time they'll be in our plan <laughs> yeah because they they had them like up, up like where you saw we went upstairs and i don't think most i don't think a lot of people even knew that that was up there because yeah. a lot of people spent more time down downstairs more than anything but they, they had a, a good amount good of people crowd, upstairs yeah. but more people spent time down um in the motor whatever they call that more than more than we saw people upstairs by the asia or caribbean sides but all in all it was a good festival i enjoyed it you enjoyed it mac joe mac joe enjoyed it we'll definitely come back next year god's willing and probably try some other things that we didn't get to try just this, this year maybe we'll go spend more time in asia next year you know you never know but We'll figure out that plan when the time comes. So we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Show some love to the channel. Also, if you haven't as yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And just a reminder to check out all the links that I left in the, des the description section for you. And don't forget, you can become a channel member and gain more perks here on the channel. Okay, so if you're interested in becoming a channel member, go ahead and check that out. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.